I, how do you sum up the, the road trip? Do you please with the overall effort, or does it leave you wanting more just in the point story? Yeah, you always want more, um, you know, when you're losing, you know, three of the games, and, you know, but I thought we were in all the games, and, um, you know, kind of showed, you know, no quit a lot, and, uh, you know, Utah and, and Calgary in there, but, um, you know, in the end, it's about, it's about getting the points. There was some anticipation, obviously, coming into this one of you playing against Mac, though, very disappointed that, uh, you know, first of all, obviously that he's hurt and that he's not here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, first and foremost, just wanted to you know get healthy and um, you know I, the whole hockey world watched that first game and he he looked great and um, you know I'm I'm pretty sure you know it's a, it's not too serious so I think we go there soon and hopefully play him then. But um, yeah, I mean it was it was really fun to watch him that first game and you know excited to, to get to play against him eventually for sure. What's the excitement level for you getting ready for home opener number two here? Yeah, it's it's big. I mean, um, you know, we got the best fans in the league, and um, you know, they, they started us off on the road for for a little bit the first uh, first two years. But uh, you know, we're, we're excited to get here and um, you know, play in front of them for sure. Gonna be able to top last year, score ninety seconds in. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be nice. But uh, I don't know. We'll see see how it goes. You got your red carpet look picked out. Yeah, I got my got my suit ready, but it's it's nothing nothing crazy or anything. So uh, pretty basic, I think. Aside from the challenges of starting on the road, what kind of advantage is it to bond as a team with a lot of new guys as well? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, I think we, we really did that. We, you know, had whatever it was nine days on the road, and um, you know, we we took the opportunity there to to really get to know each other. Like you said, it, it is a lot of new guys and. Um, new faces coming in, so um, you know we spent lots of time together. You know, team dinners or uh, hanging out, whatever. And um, you know, it was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was a good trip. Was there a dinner or a hangout that stood out among all of them? Uh, we played golf, which was which was fun. So um, just getting getting together and um, you know just having everyone together is always is always good. So um, you know we enjoyed it. How'd you shoot? Uh, it was a scramble, and we won. So. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me, but I was on the winning team. Uh, Sharks PK has looked pretty good. What what about that unit has looked solid? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I th we watched it this morning in video. Just um, you know how they pressure. Um, they're very aggressive, and you know I think just you know how quick they close on you. But um, you know for us, I think if we can move it quick. I think uh, we can use that you know to our advantage. So uh, it's going to be about you know how we're how we're moving, how we're supporting each other, and um, you know hopefully we can we can break it down. Even though you're first overall, there are lots of ups and downs when you transition to the NHL. How do you think you've grown over the last year? Yeah, I think uh, on the ice, just you know, you figure out where you can you know make plays or, or do stuff or whatever. And, um, and then off the ice, just getting used to the, the schedule and, and everything, and um, you know maybe understanding that not every every shift every play is something's going to happen like uh, you know maybe they didn't junior and just being patient what did you see from Macklin in that first game yeah like i was saying he uh, he looked great i mean you know we, we were we were uh, a couple hours ahead so i didn't get to see the whole thing but um you know just just his speed and explosiveness and obviously everyone knows how skilled he is and um how well he can make plays but uh, you know, I feel like he was attacking really well, and um, you know, didn't look, didn't look out of place at all. Have you talked with him since that day? Uh, yeah, I just sent him a sent him a little text, and um, you know, congratulated him and stuff, and um, yeah, just like you know, hope he's hope he's getting better, and you know, I'm excited to keep watching him throughout well, the year. Was it cool to see him score so fast? Yeah, that was crazy. I, I wasn't even watching. I think I just got back from dinner or whatever, and. Um, you know, I checked my phone and saw the area scored, so that was, uh, that was pretty wild, but, um, you know, I was excited and, and happy to see that from Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Peter's starting the net, and uh, we have uh, Reichel in, and uh, Athaseo's out uh, up front with Donato, and uh, on the back end, uh, we have Allen coming in, and Martinez is, uh, is out with the lower body tonight. And we'll know more hopefully later in the day on him. Okay, so it's not as of now. Doesn't day to day or? Uh, no, I think by I think we'll probably check in with the trainers and the doctors tonight. We'll know probably okay. more by probably by the end of the game. Okay. Do you have any update on Lepshin off for first spot? Uh, I think as far as I know, uh, same time period, and it's just like ballpark. It's pretty close right now. I think uh, uh, both of them are just not ready to join the team in practice yet but have been on the ice and uh, we'll be back on the ice and uh, after a day or two off I think they've been going pretty hard and uh, that's that's all I know there there's no update on them
with Reiko, what are you looking for from him? Just, uh, you know, it's a night where this team is a up and down the ice uh, team. They skate and work hard, and that's going to benefit him because he's a skater. And we need to see him, uh, you know, lots of bursts tonight, uh, confidence with the puck. And, uh, you know, I mean, when he gets it, it's just it just can't be one and done. He's got to uh, make a play or put it in an area where his teammate or himself can make uh, a play off of that. With every scratch, uh, are you talking to him about why he's not playing? Who's that? Uh, Reichel, with every scratch. That yeah, no, we've said. talked uh, through uh, training camp, trying to get, you know, uh, you know, him confident and, uh, you know, just more t- touches with the puck and, uh, you know, things ha- happening with that. Uh, and, uh, you know, it just at the start of the season, uh, the, the lineup was dictated by who played better in training camp. and. So he's been working hard in practice. So uh, we told him what we need from him in practice to get it ready for the game. And now it's his turn to uh, show it in the game. I think in camp you guys talked about not wanting him to be on the fourth line just because that's not necessarily his style. And I get that that's the place you can get him in the lineup right now. But I assume the goal is to eventually get him higher than that. Yeah, and hopefully uh, you're showing some uh, bursts out there and some uh, plays. Uh, offensively, but not you know creating uh, offense for the other team at the same time, and uh, maybe there's opportunity through the game where someone gets bumped up or someone's in the penalty box or you know he gets other opportunities with other players uh, at the same time. But you know I know Craig uh, Smith can really shoot a puck and Patty Maroon really uh, has good hands and makes good plays in the offensive zone and getting out of the defensive zone. So he's got uh, experienced players to wait play with tonight. It's not a young, inexperienced, just hard crashing and banger. So. Um, you know, this is an opportunity for him to make the most of it. Is the move back to center a situational thing with what opportunity was there, or is that something you're also looking at? Uh, not really. I think it's just more the opportunity. I know he's played there before, and we feel more at this level he's has been more productive on the wing. But uh, tonight, this is where we need him, and this is his opportunity. So he's going to do, do what he needs to do to make the most of it. It's sometimes uh, he's shown that burst in the past. But then it kind of wanes. Is that just not consistent energy level? Uh, I think it's just a confidence level. You know, sometimes players don't feel like they're playing well and they get rid of the puck too quick. And uh, sometimes they get rid of it before a player even gets to them. They they, they look early. Someone looks like they're coming, and then they they uh, you know they peel off, and it looks kind of odd that the player chips the puck away or moves it too quick. Uh, so that's just a confidence uh, level for a young player, and uh, we've seen it grow up here and, and play well at times, but uh, we've seen it where uh, it's not so high. So right now, uh, you got nothing to lose, right? you got an opportunity to go in and, and show your best uh, on a home opener with a lot of excitement in the building. Uh, really, there's no other be- better opportunity for him to, uh, to, to start a season. The way you played in the first four games, are you playing to identity that you, that you hope of? Yeah, I think so. I think we'd obviously like to create more offense, and uh, that's hard to do in this league, but uh, we have to inch our way to that and look for it because I think we can't just all of a sudden open it up and give up a bunch of things that we haven't yet because we've been pretty tight defensively. Uh, I think we have to find our offense, like the one game in Edmonton on the power play. Uh, even last game, I thought we created two or three chances on the penalty kill, being aggressive. Uh, but when we have, we've had some good looks too, and we got to just start bearing down and knowing when to shoot and knowing when to make that last little play uh, back door when it's there. But uh, uh, I think you know if we can continue to create those opportunities, they're going to start to drop for us. But we have we have to make sure that we're uh, and I, you know, I mean I think I rely on the veteran guys to help in that area too. Um, you know, coming through uh, in Edmonton after a tough uh, point that we gave back in Winnipeg is. I think that's a step forward for this team, but but now we got to take another step forward. We can't just take one step forward, one step back. I think it's time for this team to move forward, and I, I count on the older guys to help in that area, and I think they did, and that's a good sign in that, uh, at the start of the season. You had Tyler Topoli for a couple years in Montreal, did you not? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, obviously still a productive guy, but how much of a mentor can he also be for a, for a very young Sharks group? Yeah, no, he's a solo player. That's why they went and got him, I'm sure. Um, you know, he was great in uh, Montreal with a young Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield coming in. That was a pretty good line. Um, he's just an experienced guy. He kind of goes under the radar sometimes on the ice, and I think he likes that. Uh, he, 
he's a guy that when he gets a chance to bury a puck, he can score. So we got to pay really special attention to him tonight. But a very mellow, uh, solid veteran guy. Like you said, he's probably there for a reason, to help him score goals, but also to help mentor the young good uh, players coming up in their rebuild. What have you seen from Connor Murphy this series, kind of the definition of consistency at this point? Yeah, he's been great. He's a total professional on and off the ice at, at all times. Uh, we we kind of expect it from him, and uh, I think he expects it from himself. So uh, great leader on our team. And, uh, you know, I think even um, in the first game, not accepting uh, not a great first period, he steps up and, uh, you know, hits one of the better players and creates a ruckus on the ice and got us going in that, in that first game of the year. And that's what he does. He does what he has to do to help the team at all in all situations. And, you know, he even he's not known to be an offensive guy, but when he has to, he gets up the ice and gets good shots through the net and he scores the odd goal that really lifts his team. What do you think of Kaiser's performance on the trip after coming back? Good, yeah. No, it's tough after missing some time in training camp as a young player. Um, but I think his experience uh, over the last few years, at the end of two years ago and then last year, uh, really helped him. And he's a good skater and he's strong on his feet. So uh, I think being in such good shape, he came back from uh, you know his time off, uh, you know, flying. I thought his first two games in the back playing were excellent, and uh, and then you know followed it up with another strong one. So you know he's just been consistent and. You know, using his skating ability, moving the pucks. We just like all our D, we want our D to shoot that puck harder and more often. And uh, he's one of those guys that can do that. So we'll look for him to add add more of that to his game and our game as well. Much four games on the road, nice to get in front of the home fans. Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to using that. As I've said before many times, it's a. Uh, it's something that we can take and make it a miserable place to come and play. It's very intimidating with the national anthem and the crowd, and we got to follow that up in our play. And hopefully, we can do that tonight. Thank you. We all silly like the mayor.